So what we'll do is we'll be using... How many, how many watts is that? This one? is a 1600 watt. Which is, is that hot enough? I it's hot enough, yeah. It's what I've been using to bend our tubes. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using one of these to bend our tubes live right here on our stream. Oh. Yeah. Uh, very simple, actually. Uh, 1600 watt is about this kind of... Uh, uh, but, this, but then you said to me earlier on you can get 1200 and 2000 ones. Yeah, like 2000 that. ones don't really need that big. It's quicker then. It's quicker, yeah, I guess. It's a bit quicker. Uh, 1200, no point. It's, it, it's, uh, it's kind of less than a kind of, you know, powerful hairdryer, really. But 1600 is kind of... It's a kind of uh, wattage you want on a... On a uh, heat gun. So this is what. So he's going to do some live bending. Yep, live bending. And uh, well, let's put the strobo aside. We'll do that. We don't in want to throw that. <laughs> we'll melt it. I'm going to move out of the way a bit just in case. And then uh, case. I want to describe to you some of our um, the fittings on our. Where you put it? Yep, right here. So we have three fittings from Thermal Take. So these arrived. Uh, Thank you, Thermal Take. Uh, a few days ago. Yep. Um, you can see um, the difference. So we got a, a 90 degree compression fitting. This is the uh, 16 OD, 16 millimeter yeah, OD. Yeah, because the, this is brilliant if you don't want to bend tubes. Because I was a bit lazy and these were really just soft, soft and you got to bend. You know, <laughs> and, and to be honest, we, we couldn't find that many of these out on the market no no not many it seems to be thermal take seems to be the only one that doesn't Does it, double yeah. double yeah. double uh, compression fittings. double double uh, compression fittings on both yeah. ends and this is a, a very good quality one because it has three o-rings inside most of them only have two so there's you've got well if you take a closer look there's so three o-rings like triple o's triple o's yeah uh, on either, either side and uh very good quality i love uh, you know there's surprise. copper inside you see the copper yeah. inside the copper uh, plated inside it's yep. very nice and there's the other one this is a standard uh, uh, compression fitting is that what it is yeah this is a standard compression fitting which uh, fits in most uh, G quarter thread G quarter thread radiators yep. rocks pumps uh, again uh, three o-rings inside so why does it matter because the some fittings has two o-rings which is enough but then you get ones with the three o-rings I like the, the thermal take, which allows then have better kind of waterproofing, kind of uh, less leakage. Tightless, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T tighter fitting. Tight um, so we would uh, prefer something with uh, three or rings, but yeah, you can get ones with two, that's fine. What's so that one then? Yeah, and this is, this is the, uh, the 90 degree uh, compression fitting to a G quarter thread. So how would this fit? I'll show you now. We have a, uh, a thermal, not thermal, okay, sorry, uh, XPS uh, Raystorm Pro water block, oh, CPU water block. You got that crap water block. <laughs> yes, thermal paste. <laughs> so you can see I already have a uh, three uh, uh, the uh, compression fitting right here. This is a standard uh, uh, 16 millimeter OD compression fitting. I can take this off, for example. We just take one of these off, and then I'll fit in a an instant bend. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, you might need to take the other one off, otherwise you can't screw them in. That's true, actually. Yeah. Which, which actually, it's a bit of a weird design. How do you put two in then? Well, it's two. It actually, it bends. Ah, uh, right. See? I see. So, um, as you can see right here, I have the, oh, <laughs> I have the, uh, the Raystone Pro water block, G quarter thread, and a um, U ninety degree. One side is G, uh, G quarter, and then the other one's the compression fitting. So you basically, you have to screw that in there. That's so you've got instant bend. That's it, really tight there. There you go, like that. And obviously the one goes here, if you want. Or you can have two of these, two 90 degrees. So one goes that way, the other one goes that way. Or you, uh, and because it's adjustable, see? Oh. So I can, uh, I can, you know, adjust it depending on uh, my style of the flow. I can have one go down, one go up, both go up, and so on. So this is something I, I should want on my water block. Uh, the other one just fits in like that. Tubes, tubes go straight in there. Um, they're, not, they're not light, are they? They're yeah, I mean, I, I'll show you some of the tubes I've done already. Just say, for example, uh, this is a, a 90 degree one. See, 90 degree. Um, and this, this kind of fits right in here like this push that in tight and then you screw that compression fitting to give you a nice tight fitting there you go yeah, you want to make sure the ends of the tube is flat so sand it down is flat before you put it in otherwise you're going to get leakage 
There you go. There's the uh, 90 degree uh, fitting, or you can bend your tube to get you that 90 degree effect. Obviously, you know, the tubing on that. Um, Who ever thought of putting water into a PC? Oh, look at this. I can I can do this. Put that in there, nice and tight. Screw that compression fitting, and you're gonna have like a weird shape going out, and then depending on your style of the flow. So we're gonna do some live bending. Oh, this is a a, a shape that we done 90 degree or we done earlier. But uh, did you bring the silicone insert? We did. We Otherwise got the block. We got the full. We got the full uh, full kit. Well, let me put some things away for us. Oh. Let me put these. Yeah, let me put these uh, fittings on the side. But the thing is, these fittings ain't cheap. That's the thing. So you need to um, kind of figure out what you're going to be buying beforehand. Yeah. Because you don't want to be um, wasting uh, all that money on, on fittings and then you realize, oh, I got the wrong one, or or I maybe should have gotten this one uh, instead of different. Yeah, that's the die. From what? <laughs> From the uh, why am I got pink hands now? <laughs> from my previous build. Oh uh, goddamn! <laughs> right, so let me put this on the side. Right, uh, okay. What do we need? We need some tubes. Actually, first of all, let me show you the um, the Pacific hard tube bending kit. So this is what it is. This is the Pacific hard tube bending kit. All right. It's a Thermaltake uh, Pacific Hard Tube Bending Kit. So uh, what's inside is uh, all the bits you need to bend the tube. All right. Apart from the heat gun, really, isn't it? Probably, yeah, apart from the heat gun, yeah. So this do, kit... Do they sell that separately as well? Uh, not Thermaltake branded heat gun. No. Oh, okay. But... Um, I thought they had an RGB one. So this is what you got inside. All right, you got the, uh, the tube cutter. You have the uh, 135 millimeter kind of, oh, sorry, 135 degree angle uh, and also the 90 degree here and the 180. So 360 I have not used because I have no idea actually how to bend a 360. <laughs> and then you got this, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, a kind of... Oh, that's, a, that, that's the trimmer. Oh, you, the trimmer, yeah. 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 But so, I don't think that that is a very um, good design. Basically, if you had a, because it, you put your tube in and you just turn it. Yeah. And it sort of cuts it. it shaves to, all the. Um, to be honest, you really actually you want a piece of flat sandpaper yeah. and just sand it. Uh, sec. So all you need now is the for tube bending is your kit. Okay, this is the uh, Pacific uh, hard tube bending kit with all the correct bits. Uh, this is the most important part. This is the the silicon insert, which um, you know it's very simple, but you need this so that the bends on the tube can become like uniform rather than all, you know. It doesn't flatten on the inside. Yeah, so without this, your tubes are not gonna be good. So who you came up with that idea in the first place? I'm not sure, it must be some plumber. Some, probably some engineer. It's engineer yeah. or some plumber. But yeah, so you got your hard tube bending kit, uh, your heat gun, and you're ready to go. So what we're gonna do is, uh, um, I'm gonna take a simple tube, which I've cut already, uh, this shape here, I think that's all you need. Um, then I'm gonna insert this rubber silicone in here, a silicone insert. As you can see then, the tube then fits inside this, uh, in this silicone insert, it fits inside this tube. And uh, we're gonna bend this section here, okay? And uh, right now it's solid, rock hard. Um, we need to actually bend oh, it. Is that P E T G? P T G. Uh, Thermal Take also makes those tubes. Uh, you can get them um, at any hardware. Well, hardware store. <laughs> yeah, though, but the P T G are hardware store, I think. Right, let's let's put this in. This is gonna heat up. <laughs> right. This is it. Steno. Uh, we're gonna. It's quite. It's quite. It's so if you want to do a bit long shoot, it's quite hard to get it all in then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, let, let me see if I've got the right. You're gonna do that short. You're gonna burn. You're gonna burn your thumb. Winston's gonna burn his thumb live. <laughs> it's like this. That's easily. What if you have a long piece like that? Much, much more safe. Right. Let Let me see. And get the angles right. Here you go. That's the angle. And he's gonna burn it like that. Yep. Like that. Let, me, let me let me check the angles. Oh, we need a bit lower. Oh, you're gonna oh. burn it, mate. That's about right. Actually, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna have fun. He's got no gloves. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Do wear gloves. I, I recommend you do wear gloves because uh, 
they might get hot. <laughs> so so there's only, it has two settings on this heat gun. It's the uh, setting one and setting two. Setting one, I guess, is hot. Hot, and then two is very hot. Hotter. <laughs> it, it blows the air faster. It blows the hot air faster. So we'll do setting one. That's what you need, and you'll experience some noise. Not that bad. And basically, you speak up there. you'll need to, um, yeah, you need to uh, bend yeah. this a little bit more. You need to kind of rotate this a little bit more. Just rotate this. Until your thumb starts burning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I recommend you do wear gloves. <laughs> yeah, just rotate this until you feel that kind of give on the uh, PETG tubing. All right. You go, oh, I can see the flex now. All right, so um, I'm gonna grab the um, the 90 degree. Uh, right, there you go. Right, see the bend now. It's gonna. All right, okay. I've got a little bit of flex here, and this is what you need to do. You need to uh, concentrate, not to uh, overdo it. Just heat it up like this, nice and okay. So rotate a little bit more, and you can see the bend. And as soon as it bends, you can get the uh, here you go, and kind of do that on the uh, do that on the. Uh, see that right there. Okay. So you hold it there for about um, I don't know, maybe a minute or two until. Uh, you, until it kind of hardens a bit and you can take the uh, there you go there's your bend I uh, didn't do it that well actually uh, the good thing about this is you can actually mold it and heat it up again so that you can remold it but the obviously why the isn't that good that one because it's got a I think it's got a little kink on it but there's your bend and then what you do is you just pull the insert out so it wasn't hot enough then was it no, no, no. It's, it's, I think I've done it too much on the one side. Um, there's your bend. That's how simple it is. Let me just pull this. There you go. There's your bend. Just like that. Simple. Um, these are the uh, odd tubes shapes I've bent. I've got like a 90 going up here and another one. I've got like... Um, this is a, 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 another funny one. This is like... Kind of again 90 then up another 90 so you're gonna have all different types of uh, bends this one i uh used which i will be using more of is it's like um it's for uh outflow outflow uh, you know the um where you bleed out your system so jamming up the uh, ball the ball joint to a valve and then you could just <laughs> yeah so there's your two bending session from funky kit don't forget do wear gloves it can't get very hot and uh, you know try and measure out the the bends of the minute tubes the the, sh the length of your tubes between your fittings so now let me let me show you a fitting which I can let me uh, unscrew this compression fitting you've got to push it in uh, until you hear that kind of click there you go there you go that's nice and tight now so there's one there and uh, you can obviously make sure you can, you can twist this around as well. It's quite nice. And more bends. All right, and then uh, let me show you then. Where's my? There you go. There's my water block. I can get this and fit a. There you go. Fit a uh, compression fitting right here on the water block, and then give it that in and then screw that tight so I have like a bend within a bend and another so, bend another bend and then this is not the you can you can have all different types of combinations depending on uh, how you want your water rake to set up so this is your quick how to in bending your tubes again all you need is a uh, thermal take Pacific hard to bending kit that's I think that's more important than anything else and it has all the equipment that you need 
this is it you know the uh, tube gutter uh, all the template thing for the uh, different bands okay then this is the uh, kind of a shaver right and then this is the most important part this is the uh, silicon uh, insert you need for uh, tube bending all right let's do some cutting very simple I love this tube cutter this tube cutter let's put this away this tube cutter I think you can get this in the hardware store yeah this is a, just a thermal take sticker on there but let me show you uh, how it works so I've got this I want to cut this now you put this you measure up and you put this into the side here and you kind of screw this into sh to shape uh, to shape it into position all right so there you go that's your positioning on your tube and you want to cut that bit off you screw it a little bit tight till it gives and then you just twist you do it again and you twist and you do it again you twist and again twist and then it kind of comes off just like that there you go and that's how you do a tube cut with your cutting the tool and that's pretty much it